Hello everyone, this is Mikro with the wife Vicky. And today we are doing a show that I'm going to call Man vs. Wife. And today's episode is going to be alternate movie sequel titles. Now I've had a rant with Victoria before, a little bit of venting, where I don't really like that movies would do a number two instead of a subtitle or just a totally different title completely like how she had to point out to me books would do. So today we are going to have five movie titles. We already came up with five alternate titles for each of these movies and we're going to pit them up against each other to an impartial third party after we share what movies we have here. The alternate titles uh, we're gonna just take turns sharing what title we have and if need an explanation why we made that the title as our pick. So mm -hmm. would you like to go first with the first one or me? I'll go first. Okay, what is your title? Okay, my idea was Incredibles in over their head because I feel like the movie Mr. Incredible is clearly in over his head as he's learning how to be a dad without his wife there to help and helping his children. And I feel like Mrs. Incredible is clearly in over her head. As you see at the end of the movie, she would have failed. She, the villain caught her and hypnotized her. And she would have, the villain would have won if it weren't for the kids there to save the day. So both the parents were in over their head. <laughs> so I felt like just the Incredibles in over their head. And the Incredibles is the name of the family. So right. I thought it flowed very nice. My movie title was The Incredibles and The Screen Slaver. I felt it was a little bit straightforward, but mm -hmm. it talked about who the villain was, and it pretty much hit it straight through. Kind Did, of a Marvel vibe, like yeah. how Marvel titles movies like that. Yeah, Marvel kind of titles their movies like that, and um, but I, it also felt comic booky. Mm -hmm. So it, it has a big title, so you still keep the name Incredibles, but under is a subtitle and the, and then you put mm -hmm. the villain name on there. So that was my pick for Incredibles two and a potential yeah, and title. Lost. Yeah, like Ant-Man and the Wasp, or how another one of my picks is going to be. But we'll get to that later. If I had to say one was better than the other... Sounds like he likes both. They're, they're both really good. Can I guess who... <coughs> get, uh, okay, I'm going to give my answer, but before you tell me who got the point, I'm going to guess who gave each title. Okay. Um, if, if I was... The producer, and they said, these are the two titles, you have to pick one. I would have gone with, and I think it is ever so slightly better, The Incredibles and The Screen Slaver. Okay. Now... Oh, you gave it away. No, it's okay, because that's literally my guess. I was going to guess Michael did The Screen Slaver, and then you did that one, because <laughs> yes. Michael's a bit more of a comic book nerd than you are. <laughs> so I was like, that, I, I would see Michael going for like, the comic book feel. Like, I really like your title, but I think, like... Especially with how good the Marvel movies and stuff are doing, that like picking the screenslaver one and harkening back to like old comics and stuff <coughs> like that would just get everyone's nerd senses like tingling. Ooh. In the same way I did Incredibles, my alternate title is Iron Man and War Machine. Because this is the movie where War Machine is introduced. That's where um, the 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 new he's a character good hero. yeah I love War Machine yeah he's a good he's a, he's very dominant uh, su supporting character him and Pepper Potts are very popular in that movie as a supporting character so I didn't really think Pepper Potts played a big role in the movie in his life but War Machine did so I looked into the the scenes and thought about the scenes he was in he intervened at his birthday party and he fought with him side by side he was the one being forced to fight Iron Man so I felt like he was a big, it was a big debut for for that character. And he was also recast in that movie as well to Don Cheadle. So I felt like emphasizing his sidekick, although he would resent that name, uh, I felt like putting his name in the title would be a good name for the second Iron Man movie. And that again is Iron Man and War Machine. That's a good name. Very Marvel. My my name doesn't really follow the flow of Marvel. Mm -hmm. I feel like Marvel likes to choose names that focus on the action rather than the individual character development. Mm -hmm. But that's not why I watch movies. I watch movies for the character. So I called it Iron Man Invincible because I feel like it's kind of cool. It's the I I, and I feel like Iron Man Two focuses on Iron Man learning that he's not invincible. Mm, that's <clears> good. 
Because, well, because like his heart is failing him and it's literally poisoning him from the inside out. So he has to learn to rely, in the end, his dad helps him. This, from beyond the grave helps him with a new core. I feel like he has to learn that he needs pepper pots to help him run his company and he needed War Machine to help him defeat the bad guy. So he's just really learning that he's not invincible. He but needs he help. is invincible to his friends. Well, yes, he's yeah. the power of friendship. <laughs> the power of friendship. <laughs> but also it has that, the, the I, I. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I, I, so you would do the... Iron Man Invincible. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so it's... Dark, 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 Dark. Iron Man 2? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> okay, one of the titles is Iron Man and War Machine. And the other title is Iron Man Invincible. Because it's the story of Iron Man learning that he's not invincible. He's learning to rely on Pepper, on War Machine, and even on his dad from Beyond the Grave. Yeah, I thought the, the, that I, makes the movie so, when, so much better. When, when she told me her title, I felt the same way. I was like, dang, this is going to be close. I'm just going to have a hard time. By, by the way, you gave it away who gave which title, but it's okay because I already figured it out. The moment she said uh, Iron Man and War Machine, I'm like, that's my goal. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm harking back to the Again, old comics. Comic which, nerd. Which, but, but if I had to pick one, it was it's actually Iron Man Invincible, I think is good so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, it's it, Man, it makes the movie sound so much better than it actually is. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's, it's true. It, the title makes the movie that much better. It makes you appreciate the movie in a different way. Yeah, like all that stuff. is hubris. Yeah, no, I think it definitely, it, it brings light to all the best parts of the movie. And it's just like, it just rolls off the tongue. Iron Man Invincible. Mm -hmm. Shrek? For you, baby, I could be. Shrek 2. This one was a little difficult. I think it was probably the hardest, the hardest one next to Iron Man 2 for me to figure out a title for. And it was very difficult. It was very difficult. But the title, the the title that I picked was definitely a driving point throughout the the movie. Even though it was hardly touched on because they were too busy doing a lot of gags and comedy. Um, but Which, it was. The, that's the whole point of Shrek is for the gags. So that's, yeah. that's not really a flaw in the movie. Yeah. So the movie I the movie title I chose for Shrek 2 is Shrek Charming um, because the like movie it. is driven by Fiona's childhood memory in her diaries of wanting to marry Prince Charming and she's being pursued by an actual Prince Charming and Shrek's desire was to be charming to her by the human standard but in the end he finds out that what was truly charming about him was himself and that's who she loved so the movies. <laughs> I like that. I like so the that movies. A lot more than life. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. Well, don't tell or judge that. But the movie, the the title I have for that is therefore Shrek Charming. I went through several different names. I was thinking Shrek Enchanted because he does. There's a lot of enchantment in right. the film, but I feel like that didn't really touch on the theme of the movie. I want you to do something about Fiona's name because I feel like this is kind of, even though it doesn't have any <clears throat> feature Fiona. I feel like the whole plot revolves around everybody trying to do things for Fiona. The parents are trying to learn to accept Shrek for the sake of their daughter. And Shrek is trying to improve himself for the sake of his new wife, Fiona. Right. But I couldn't you think of anything... You and I kind of went the same way with that one. Yeah, but I couldn't think of anything that worked. So finally, um, what I went for is just the basic Shrek far, far away. Because that's where they are. Kind of went for the whole Spider-Man far from home feel. That's good, yeah. That goes, so, for, that goes for the location, yeah. Because that's the name of the kingdom that they're in. It's far, far away. Mm. So that's a good title, and that that's a little bit more marketable in that sense. I feel yeah. like that's more marketable friendly and less, you know, deep like mine was. Your, but I liked your, yours because yeah. I, I mean, I my like last too. two I felt like were kind of like what yours was. So Shark Charming I thought worked really well. Yeah, that's why I like yours better than mine. I feel like this one's gonna be a coin flip with the judge because he has reasons to like both. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This one, this this is another one that's gonna be really close. You ready? Shrek two. You haven't seen this movie. I've seen gonna, Shrek one though. Yeah, but I'm gonna give you a brief synopsis. The first title is Shrek: Far, Far Away. That one's pretty obvious. It's because it takes place in a kingdom far, far away, but it's a good name because it's, it pops and it sells and it's literally taking place in that place. Mm -hmm. The other one is called Shrek Charming because it's more of a subtle reference to his desire to be the Prince Charming 
and then finding out that he is charming all along. Who did what? And which one won? You did trick charming, and Vicky did far, far away. Was that right? Yes. <laughs> so I think trick charming is a little bit better. Trick no, charming. Yeah. So that's two I one. Thinking. I was thinking like <coughs> Shrek's acceptance. Because it's like a play on like everybody else is learning to accept him and he's learning to accept Yeah, but himself. but 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 it doesn't flow with the feel of Shrek. Shrek is a comedy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why that's why I like Shrek charming because Shreks are very the Shrek movies are very irreverent. There's a lot lots of like it's just crude, a lots of humor. below the belt humor. Exactly. And yeah. so like you know like uh, going for something too deep would have kind of like mm -hmm. been like. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. not needed for this movie. Yeah, that's that's like that's why I didn't like Shrek Charming is kind of like oh that's like a, a goofy little play on on you know the old Prince Charming trope and I think that, that fit the the movie series based on the movie not as only seeing the first one better. Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Toy Story Two. Ride like the wind, Bullseye. <laughs> Vicky thinks we probably picked the same name, so I'm gonna. I just what? feel like my name is really obvious. And mine's a little obvious too, but we'll see. What is your Toy Story 2 name title? Toy Story Woody's Roundup. Because oh my gosh! <laughs> it is the same, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Mine because is Woody's the whole Roundup point, too. I mean, the movie is about Woody discovering that he's not just the same as every other toy. He's mm -hmm. part of like this TV show. He has all this memorabilia and stuff about him. But also it's about the other characters kind of rounding up Woody and his ego. You had the same thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you I thought it'd be the same because it's so hot. It was so <laughs> perfect. Okay, so yeah, we both had Woody's roundup. So we'll see if we end up being a tie, we'll have to come back for a, a tiebreaker movie title. Yeah. We'll have to work on that one. We'll see. If if we if we tie with the other four, we'll see. Was, was yours the same thing? Yes, it's Woody's roundup for the same reasons. It's about his TV show Woody's Roundup with the new gang, mm -hmm. but also the roundup of his friends coming to bring him back to his true roundup gang. Mm -hmm. And the new, old new roundup gang joins his original roundup gang. Yep. Yeah, it was so the it's, it's, same thing. <laughs> it's almost like they were like, that's the original name for the movie, and then some producer was like, no, we can't call it that. This is a kid's movie. Toy Story 2. Come on, Pixar. This movie has nothing to do with being frozen. In the first movie, she froze the whole kingdom. And Frozen Heart, you know, the like... The whole plot was about her learning how to thaw. Yeah, so Frozen 2, not a great title because it has nothing to do with being frozen. Uh, frozen 2, yeah. Erendo melted. Yeah, so <laughs> thanks for nothing, Disney. Um, That's so, not my title. <laughs> <laughs> no, not her title. <laughs> but uh, we'll go with um, mine. Yeah, me first. My movie title is called Atahalan. And the reason for that is because it's the song in the lullaby and I felt like the lullaby was important in the movie because they kept going back to it. It was the reason why they were able to proceed through their quest like they were able Atahala to. Atahala is the what? Atahala is the one mentioned in the mom's lullaby. Oh. She mentions it. It's not in the lyrics of it though. She, I mean, she's singing about yeah. it but she never mentions yeah, yeah. the name Yeah, yeah, she sings it. about it but that becomes that that place becomes the epicenter of their quest. Yeah, that and place where the north wind meets the sea. Yeah, exactly. So that becomes where the spirits dwell, where Elsa ends up discovering her true purpose. And pretty much the climax and ending of the movie happens because of that place. Mm -hmm. So I felt like calling it Atahalan was a good title rather than Frozen 2. That's not a very memorable word and I wouldn't even know where to begin and how to spell it. <laughs> Let's yeah. start with an A? Yes. Oh, okay. I it does. Maybe like an O? I don't know. Uh, I was thinking it was Frozen, um, All Is Found. Because that's the name of the lullaby that she sings, that the kind of is, that lullaby is basically a sum up of the plot. And um, I feel like Elsa kind of finds out more about herself. Kristoff discovers his self confidence. Anna, especially, really discovers a lot about herself as she learns to accept how to live life without her sister by her side. And the native people and the soldiers also discover the truth of what happened all those years ago too. Mm -hmm. So a lot is being found in this movie. Mm -hmm. And, and the at the end they were able to find peace between the two kingdoms. And the lands. spirit realm. And stuff. Yeah. That's a good title. And more marketable than mine. Mm -hmm. That's twice you've gotten something more marketable than me. I try, I try too hard. I don't think about the simple things of we need to be able to sell the movie. 
We'll see. They also have to think about target audience, and Frozen 2 is definitely for kids. Yeah, that's true. Die. 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 The last movie that we're going to present to you is Frozen 2. This is the last one? Maybe. We'll see. Frozen 2. One title is Otta Holland, and the other title is All is Found. Otta Holland is the name of the place that convert where the North and South converge, the world the spirits dwell. Mm -hmm. All is Found is a reference to how Elsa finds her true self. They find where their Again. Kids boat is. Yeah, they Anna <laughs> finds her true self. Kristoff finds his courage, and the people find out the truth behind why they went to war and all that stuff. Like a lot of things are found in this movie, and it's the name of the song that drives the plot. It's the lullaby that their mom sang. The song is called All Is Found, mm -hmm. so that's why that one is the title. So I prefer I prefer Otta Holland. I think I think it rolls a little bit better. Frozen Otta Holland. I mean, and it, well, it's not it frozen in Otto Holland. It's just Otto Holland, and the other one is just fro. The other one is was it frozen? So this one, this, so was it frozen these would no frozen. So these frozen wouldn't even have a subtext. It would do no, just the, be the, the all is found has a sub is subtext. Frozen all is found or Otto Holland. Oh well, without the subtext, I think, I think especially for like kids movies. Any titles like that have to be a subtext. So if it's not a subtext, <coughs> I'm gonna have to go with All Is Found. But if it was Frozen on Aladdin, I would pick that one. But it's not Frozen on Aladdin. But it's not, so I have to go with the other one. Okay. We have um, a problem. We have a problem. Who did what? Um Ata Holland was Michael, All Is Found is Vicky. Yeah. Correct. We are inevitably in a tie. You know why? Why? Toy Story 2. Your op the first option is Toy Story, Woody's Roundup, or Toy Story, Woody's Roundup. <laughs> Wait, you guys both picked Woody's Roundup? Yeah. No! Nah. <laughs> you gotta admit, that's a great title for that movie. <laughs> that is a really good title. So wait, you guys did these separately, and then you came together, and you're like, wait, we did the same one. Yep. No. Oh, I man. figured we would. I was like, this is such an obvious title. It's almost like we planned that. that, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes. we're gonna have to have to rapid fire a bonus round to break the tie. I'll, I'll pick a movie oh for gosh. bonus round. Let's use behind the mask. We're back for the tiebreaker. Zachary is standing off camera, and he is going to judge right after we present our tiebreaker attempt. So, on the count of three, say yours, and we're gonna hope it's not the same thing. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, Spider-Man Great Responsibility? No, I went Spider-Man to Greater Good. <laughs> okay. okay, why Greater Good? Um, because it's about Spider-Man learning um, why you become a hero. It's not for yourself, it's not for the glory, it's ultimately you're doing it for the greater good. And also because um, at the end, Dr. Octopus realizes that that's ultimately what matters also. So I think that's important. So, Spider-Man... It's kind of cheesy, what's it but Spider-Man the Greater Good. Spider or you could say, like, Spider-Man for the Greater Good. Okay. Flows better. I don't know. Okay. But I feel like, you know, and it kind of captures the essence of what comic books are about. Yes. Mine is called Spider-Man Great Responsibility because I feel like it was very heavy on the theme, like you were saying for about his... Spider-Man with Great Responsibility. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't put with, but it, basically it, it is about him learning about the, the, the responsibility he has to be Spider-Man and to do what he knows is right, mm -hmm. even at his own expense. So he takes on that respon- he learns in that movie that that's the responsibility he has to take on wholeheartedly or, or else it's, <laughs> he's going to regret it. And that's a responsibility that Dr. O o uh, Doc Ock sees Spider-Man having to take on as well when he comes to accept that he was wrong. and. That he had a response, his own responsibilities that he neglected to society before, you know, mm -hmm. he fell. And mm -hmm. uh, that's those are those are that's my title. So uh, Zachary, which one's better? Guess. No. Tell <laughs> us. We should guess which one he thinks is better. You probably like mine better. I was gonna say you like mine better. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would say. Well it. then. Unfortunately <laughs> for you, Vicky. Michael, you guys both basically gave the same title, but yeah, Michael actually did. used a more direct reference to the Spider-Man stories, which is the quote, with, with great, great power comes, comes great, responsibility. great responsibility, and Michael called it great responsibility, and you basically said the same thing, but you said it without the right words. 
which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that was our video. First installment Considering of... Considering I had about like five minutes to come up with that. Yeah, we yeah. both did, yeah. Yeah, we did. That was an interesting rapid fire. We just yeah. went out back, came up with it, and we worked from there. Well, that was man versus wife. Let us know in the comments what alternate movie titles you would come up for a movie that's calling itself two because the writers were too lazy to come up with a name. And, uh, or all titles that we tried to come up with that you think you could have done better as well. Writers were too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> too lazy. Yeah. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.